Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expecting their first child, revealing the news just five months after their wedding in May. But what did the Queen give Harry just hours before the announcement was made public? Meghan Markle is pregnant, having released the news to the public early this week while on tour in Australia. Meghan and Harry revealed the next royal baby is on the way, destined for delivery in spring 2019. The royal baby was announced to the public via Kensington Palace on Monday to public celebration. Meghan and Harry revealed the news to other members of the royal family earlier the previous week, however. And Prince William and Kate, the Queen and Prince Philip, and his father Prince Charles were able to congratulate the happy couple at the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank. Before announcing it to the rest of the family, Harry first told his grandmother, the Queen. Her response to the news was to provide Harry with a treasured position at her side. Prince Harry has been named personal aide-de-camp by the Queen, which bestows some big responsibilities on the Prince. The official announcement came from the court circular, which read, The Queen has been pleased to appoint the Duke of Sussex as a personal aide-de-camp to Her Majesty with effect from 13 October, 2018. The personal aide-de-camp position is awarded by the Queen as an official military role. Only people who have served in the military as a senior officer can take the role. And the position is normally awarded to royal family members. Primarily an honorific position, as aide-de-camp Harry will be a representative for the Queen at certain events, including the state opening of Parliament. There are certain ways of dressing for the role when performing these duties which for Harry will be wearing a golden aiguillette, braided rope. Set over the right shoulder and chest of a military uniform, the rope is distinguishing for that role only. Those taking on the position will be permitted to use post-nominal letters after their name, as one might with a degree or certain accreditation, of ADCP. Despite the announcement only being recent, people are already theorizing on future names. At the moment Harriet is trending according to bookmakers Ladbrokes. Harry's discussion about possible names while on tour in Australia prompted a flurry of bets forcing odd slashes from 66-1 to just 33-1. Alex Apati of Ladbrokes said, Royal punters will look for any giveaways over the next few months and Harry's recent comments suggest his firstborn might just share a similar name with the prince himself. Straight out of a romantic comedy, y'all. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle looked so in love during a torrential downpour in Dubbo on Wednesday, October. 17. The newlyweds, who recently announced they're expecting their first child together, are currently in the middle of a 16-day tour to Fiji, Donga, New Zealand, and of course, Australia. Meghan looked lovingly at her man while holding an umbrella over him during a speech and he reciprocated the same facial expression in a separate pic. I mean, come on. This these two are just too adorable. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, shared their exciting baby news on Monday, October 15 right before beginning their first leg of the tour. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Kensington Palace revealed in a statement. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. The, literally perfect-looking, couple attended the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank on Friday, October 12th and Meghan was super sneaky about hiding her baby bump at the special event. I knew she was pregnant when she wore that massive coat over, the weekend. One user commented on Twitter. I knew Meghan Markle was pregnant when she wore the coat dress to Princess Eugenie's wedding, added another. While hindsight is 2020, the Duchess of Sussex often wears figure-flattering ensembles, and the billowy number seemed a bit odd. In fact, the former Suits actress totally distracted us from her bump just three weeks before announcing the news, by changing up her hairstyle. Instead of rocking her typical curly hair, Meg opted for a sleek straight do, and naturally, the press went wild. After all, it's not every day that a royal decides to switch up her signature hairstyle. 
In fact, the Duchess' sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, seemingly did the same thing when she was pregnant. Back in September 2017, a Twitter user theorized that Kate uses her hair to distract the media from her growing belly. Patroness Duchess of Cambridge changes her hairstyle, people concentrate on her head, and, then, she, announces, the, pregnancy, they wrote. Interesting. Speculation aside, one thing's for sure, Harry and Meghan are so freaking in love it hurts. Also, their baby is gonna be drop dead gorgeous. Meghan Markle has previously described herself as a foodie. But which of her favorite foods will Meghan have to stop eating while she is pregnant? The wife of Prince Harry has been vocal about her love of food, wine and the art of cooking in the past. She once told Today, being from Los Angeles, I was conditioned to like Baja-style food from the womb. Meghan also shared her own recipe for making fish tacos at home grill some peppers and onions and a couple fillets of fish, a flaky white fish works best. Season everything with salt and pepper, a little lime and stuff it all inside of a warm corn tortilla. Few bites of food make me happier than that. Megan also described perfect sushi as an essential part of her healthy diet to eye swoon. The 37-year-old often posted pictures of her omelette inventions on her now-deleted social media accounts. Megan even named her lifestyle blog the Tig after her favorite tipple, Tignanello Wine. Daniel O'Shaughnessy, director of nutrition at The Naked Nutritionist, warned some of Megan's favorite foods could cause adverse health effects to her unborn baby. He said, sushi and raw fish and shellfish can cause several infections such as parasites and bacteria infections. These can cause adverse health effects and harm the fetus. Pregnant women are advised to limit seafood to twice per week due to the possible mercury contaminants. Pregnant women are also advised to avoid drinking completely as it increases risk of miscarriage and stillbirth. Even a small amount can impact the baby's brain development. It can also lead to fetal alcohol syndrome which causes facial disfigurement, heart defects and learning disabilities. Mr. O'Shaughnessy added it is important to ensure foods are cooked correctly in order to avoid risks to the baby. He said, consuming undercooked meat increases the risk of toxoplasma, E. coli, listeria and salmonella. Raw eggs can be contaminated with salmonella. In rare cases this can cause cramps in the uterus leading to premature birth or stillbirth, which can include mayonnaise and other. Salad Dressings Organ meat can be eaten once per week as it can be very nutritious. However, it can lead to vitamin A toxicity if eaten too much, which can lead to birth defects. Also limit caffeine to 200 mg per day which is about 2 cups of coffee. This passes to the fetus which it is not developed enough to metabolize it. This can lead to low birth weight risk. Prince Harry has mock scolded a newsreader for giving his wife Meghan Markle flowers during a surprise stop on the royal tour. Deviating from their schedule, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex paused to greet a small crowd outside Taranga Zoo this morning. Among the crowd was Nova 969 newsreader Matt de Groot, whom breakfast hosts Fitzy and Whippa had tasked with gifting the $500 bunch of flowers to the parents to be. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to stop after de Groot's bouquet caught the eye of Meghan, causing Harry to joke about the size of them. You can't give flowers that big to my wife, what is that all about? Harry joked pointing a finger in mock anger at de Groot. As the crowd laughed Meghan added, thank you for my flowers. De Groot told News.com. Oh he was surprised his last minute plan brought him so close to the royal couple. During an earlier attempt to give the Duke and Duchess of Sussex the flowers outside Admiralty House, police told a Groot he would be crash-tackled by security if he got too close. But outside Taranga Zoo, Meghan and Harry were more than happy to accept the bouquet. She seemed genuinely excited and flattered by the size of the flowers and her people, who were with her, pointed out that she loved the fact that they were huge, de Groot said. Both Meghan and Harry appeared buoyed by the fact that they had announced their pregnancy the night before. 
Meghan in particular just couldn't stop smiling. Every single person was saying congratulations, de Groot said. She wasn't hiding it, she didn't want to shy away from it. She seemed genuinely enthusiastic about the fact that she could now share the news. Harry was the same. <laughs>